fans, welcome to week number seven here for your Shooting Blue Comics. They are five and one on the year. I almost said six and one. I hate to say that. Uh, but hopefully we'll be six and one after tonight. And it is the pink out. Hence the pink shirt going on here tonight. So sports pink out. Uh, wear your pink that we got going on up Friday night here for the ball game. All right, Coach, as we always do after an impressive 42-21 win over the Fort Scott Bulldog, uh, Fort Scott Tigers, a great, great way to win there. But uh, I don't know about the, the health of the team. I know we got some bumps and bruises, but uh, how's everybody feeling after last week? Everybody's healthy once again. So. Awesome. There we go. Well, I tell you, to, to, you're lucky to have have everybody out there like that, and that's really, really good, good condition, and great to see that the guys are, are good to go here. Yep. But uh, I, I, I kind of wanted to start a, a different, a couple different ways here. But I mean, at first we just had to start about, you know, if that wasn't probably the best or probably one of the top three of Ty Bowman's career, I don't know what game was. I mean, Ty just had it all the other night, and. You just had to be proud to watch your quarterback just play the game because it was just really nice to watch him play. No doubt. He put it all together flat, you know, last Friday, and it was fun to watch. He ran the ball well. I think he had 146, something like that, and passed over 200, so uh, with a really high completion percentage. So right. he was really effective, too. Yeah, I had him 13-18 uh, for like 215 and uh, seven, uh, 22 carries for like 144. So, yeah, mm -hmm. you're my learning official there, but pretty close. But, yeah, it was great, too, to watch him play. And just like – you know, you hear that expression, you know, that the game is slowed down. And it just kind of seemed like last uh, Friday night that that game, it just looked like it slowed down for him because he knew when to drop it and run. He knew when to pass the ball. It's just, you know, it's just like he knew what he was supposed to do before he did it. Yep, he did. He did. It was an awesome night. It was a great, great night. And, too, you know, and, and to start off, you know, uh, uh, what I was saying was I uh, didn't know how to start it because I didn't know whether to say that offensive line because he couldn't have done what he done because those guys have just been – immeasurably better from week one to week and week after, especially what I saw the other night going back and watching. Yep. Those guys were incredible. Yeah, they were. They, they did a nice job. And, you know, we're starting to put, put the rushing game together and get a couple hundred yards of rushing every game, which is, you know, a testament to their play. So Definitely. Yeah, and, and to, for those guys to come out there and stay fresh, we've got some guys that are just loving the way they play. You know, you can tell a little get up in your step whenever they come out there. You know, it's a little tight ball game, but ready to grow. I see us go from offense to defense. You know, J Mack going from one side of all the other. He drops down off force. He's ready to go. You know, you can tell he's into it. And you just see the, the, the camaraderie of the guys and the, the pickup of the guys. And it's fun to watch right now. It's just like this is fun football that you want to see for the Blue Commons. Yes, it is. It's, I've had a great time watching these guys. And, and the leadership's phenomenal. Mm -hmm. um, you know, these upperclassmen are really, you know, really taking off. And, and uh, we're starting to hopefully keep it, keep going, but play our best uh, football of the year. So. Well, I tell you, I mean, that game was a kind of a culmination of everything that's kind of come up because we talked about putting all facets of the game together there. I mean, it kind of did come together. It was a tight one. We knew it was going to be, and, you know, when the, the turnovers uh, kind of did help us. We were able to capitalize, and that's what a good team does. They capitalize on those turnovers, and mm -hmm. uh, that really helped out. So in that first half, though, we went 21-14 to 14 in that first half. We had the ball, and that was the big thing, too. We, we not to go back and hurt any of my Chiefs fans, fans, well, I'm a Texans fan, and they've been talking about it, though, it's time of possession. So we've been having the ball time of possession. We've been taking some good, good drives. And that was in the first half. We think we had the ball almost 15, 16 minutes, I think. So to have it like that, you're, you're going to win a lot of football games. You're going to get a lot of things accomplished. No doubt. You know, it's hard. Teams aren't going to score on you if right. they don't have the ball. So, you know, if we play tough defense, we're, we should control that you know, time of possession. You know, they get us the ball back. And if we do our part, we keep it for a while and hopefully score. And, and uh, that's the recipe for success for sure. Definitely, you know, and, and we got the, the defense out there, too, you know, and they're trying to hold up. But, I mean, they had a good running game. We knew they were going to. They ran for a couple hundred yards on us, Coach, but, you know, uh, we wanted to make the stops when we needed to. We kind of held down their, their passing game, which I thought they were going to be much more with with the taller receivers. But uh, our secondary and our back seven, we talked about a couple weeks ago, we're up to the task. Yeah, I mean, we're just – we're athletic back there, and we're smart, and it shows it's hard for people to throw the ball on us. And hopefully, we, you know, tonight we, we do it again, you know. Right. Well, and the one thing that I like about it too is, is like you know the the pass interferences. You know, we it seems like we're getting right there. We're timing jumps. We're not. We're we're playing very disciplined, and you got to do that whenever uh, you know you can be on an island back there. You know, and you're playing the way you're supposed to, and you anticipating, and that's what you're seeing out of these guys back there. And it's just like I said, uh, those are just asset aspects of the game that I like to watch. That are yeah. really really good. Yeah, because that's that's a challenging place to play. You know, mm -hmm. I, I'm not sure I could get back there and play play the position <laughs> those guys play. You know, you're. You are your own island, and they're everybody's going to bring 
you know, different combinations at you to try to make a false step and things. And our guys have been really disciplined. So right. Well, you know, too, uh, I would like to talk about uh, Tyler Davis. You know, he got his running game going a little bit. We gave him the ball a little bit more the other night, and he was able to find some room and uh, just really keep plugging it along there. And, and that's what sustains those drives because I believe that we got that running game going a little bit. That gave us a chance to open up some passing lanes. And, you know, once you get that balance going, it's hard for anybody to stop us, even a good Fort Scott team. No doubt. And that was a fun game, you know, as a coach calling offense. And everything's working. And, and man, it's so easy to call a ball game like that. Mm -hmm. And, and uh Instead of racking your brain trying to figure out what you can do to help move the ball, I mean everything was working, and and it's it, you know our guys made it happen, and that's a really fun game to call. So. Right, like I said, we had the ball quite a bit. We had like uh, six drives in that uh, four, first half, two t uh, three touchdowns, two punts, and then the end of the half. And we get to the second half, uh, we give them the ball first, force them to punt, and then we go down and get a score, and we hold them to one score in that second half, which was really good. Of course, they fumbled a couple times. Like I said, we took advantage of that too to put it up 42-21 and just kind of run it out. But uh, again, like we saw in the game last week against Indy, we made some good long drives in the second half, sustained the drives because we know that they had opportunities. They scored pretty quick whenever they did score, so we didn't want to give them that chance yep. again. Yep, no doubt. And one thing that stood out to me I really liked was, once again, uh, um, you know, coming out after halftime, uh, mm -hmm. our first possession and, and getting points on the board. We've done that a lot this year, and, and just how they responded after the first two drives. Uh, after Fort Scott took the lead 14-13. You know, we didn't have much time left before half, and, and for our guys to just stay calm and cool and go down the field and score and take the lead at halftime was, was huge. So. Definitely. Yeah, you can just kind of see, like I said, you know, not only for Ty slowing down a little bit, but the guys know, okay, hey, we have confidence in our game plan. Yep. We have confidence in my brother next to me. We're going to come back and we're going to take care of business, and they definitely have done that so far. And uh, like I said, too, Coach, we, we did really well. at Bradley Peavy, once again, just another awesome game out there. Jaden Costin with a big, big yep. game, too, you know, to, to get things going. Uh, you know, just, just everybody out there, you know, almond in on it. Uh, running the ball, Riker Donovan, we got a good committee of running backs out there. Like I said, Ty ran the ball quite a bit. He found his lanes. That offensive line was good. So offensively, really, really good. Defensively, I think we did good. Just, you know, we need to work on just stopping that run a little bit more. But, you know, we've got some good teams that are known for their running game. They're going to get some yards on us, but we made the stops when we needed to. Yeah, yeah, and I think part of that was, uh, you know, it got better in the second half. At halftime, we talked about, you know, we were kind of standing up, using our hands. And, and uh, you know, when teams pull, pull people at you, you kill it with penetration, and we've got to do a little bit better job playing physical, getting off the ball, getting into the guards, and uh, kind of messing up their timing, getting a little bit of depth into their backfield. Not too much, but just a little bit of depth, and uh, that made, made a difference in the second half, stopping the run. So. Exactly. Yeah, and, and what I like, too, is the last couple of weeks we've seen so many different kinds of offenses that, you know, we could pretty much be ready to prepare against anything that's coming. You can make those uh, adjustments at halftime, and I know you guys had to make a few at halftime mm -hmm. for that defensive side, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, we did, and mainly it was just defensive line um, and linebackers. Our linebackers were cheating up a little bit in depth, and, and you know, when you cheat up to three yards, if uh, – you know, they get any drive at all, you're, you're in the trash. And so we moved our linebackers back. They're supposed to be at five. Sometimes they get a little right. amped up during the game and they want to get closer to that ball. But uh, once they move back to five and we fix things on the defensive line, things got better because we could scrape over the top from linebacker instead of the penetration killing us. So. Definitely. You know, and, hey, good job on uh, low penalties. We uh, punted the ball a few times. But, I mean, you know, we, we pretty much uh, – did what we wanted to do against Fort Scott, and that was a big, big win too, Coach. I tell you what, that takes it to you know five and one on the year. I'm watching the SEK. I know you are too. You know this is a big one with Coffeeville coming in here. You know uh, they they played uh, uh, Fort Scott pretty pretty tough a while back, so you know they're a good team, and we know what they're going to do. They're getting a lot of speed on the outside. They got mm -hmm. some uh, wide, tall receivers out there too. They're going to try to run the ball at you quick and be quick off the ball too, so you got to be ready. Yeah. So that's what we're looking at for Coffeeville coming in tonight, too. No doubt, no doubt. They've got a dangerous group because they are, you know, they're, they're pretty big up front. Uh, they've got some good schemes that run the ball well. And then at any time, you know, they can they can bomb one deep as well. Uh, they got, you know, similar to Independence, they have three or four athletes that are just dynamite. So. Right. Yeah, but, well, you know what? It's going to be a close game, too, Coach. I mean, the, the win here makes us 3-0 and if we get the win tonight. I've got to come up with the win tonight. But that makes us 3-0. and So that makes exciting for that final regular season game against the bet where it's all for all the marbles. We're in their house, and they've been playing good, and we've been playing good. So it could be the SEK title. How long has it been since the Blue Cowboys have had that SEK title? you remember? I was looking for it, too, and I, and I kind of got away from the it's search. It's been a while. been a while. Uh, I believe it was uh, when Don Simmons was here. Probably. Oh, wow. So, so yes. it's been a while back. So we'd like to have that title. That'd be really, really good. So and I know the guys want it, too. That is definitely for sure. But uh, before I got out here today, I definitely wanted to say, you know, because 
we get to call a lot of the offensive side. And I get to catch some of my defensive guys out there too. But you know the Goulet and the Lacrone, uh, Hudson and Warner, and all you guys, TDXL man. I just tell you, your 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 work has not got unnoticed by this big guy and the announcer. Uh, you guys do an awesome job out there. I know that it's always the skill players that get a lot of that out there. But believe me, you got fans in the stands. You got fan right here, and I know your coach is a fan of you. You keep doing the work that you're doing on both sides of the ball in that trench. And I tell you what, that SCK title is going to be hard to get, but it'll make it a lot easier if you guys are doing that job. And I, ups to you guys, much respect. You're doing a great no job. No doubt, no doubt. Those big boys are, mm. are where it's at. So. Definitely. And to the coaches, coach, I tell you what, you got some great coaches. I love being in the, in the booth with, with the coaches and stuff and being out on the field. And so those guys have been doing a great job for you so far this year. And we hope that the Blue Comet click can just keep going. And uh, good luck to you and the guys, because let's get yeah, another win.